Easy, easy. We gotta take it head on. Low, so the guns can't hit us. It's my decision, Lightning. Stay in formation. Stay in front of it! Die, you nuts and dogs! Wow, that's a clip from the World War II air movie, Red Tails. It's the story of the Tuskegee Airmen. It's a project that has been in the works for nearly 25 years. Our movie guy, Aaron Lafferty, just saw the movie last night. You're here with a preview mm -hmm. now and a compelling story here. Yes, it's, it's an important part of American history. Obviously, it's an important part of African-American history, but, but military history in the, in the United States is an important story. And George Lucas has put a lot of money. it has been working on this project for years. The effects weren't there. The, uh, the funding wasn't there, so he put a lot of his own money into it. Um, I would say if this movie is, is interesting to you, just on the surface, if you're, if you're interested in it, go see it. But if you're not so sure about it, I would wait and rent this movie. It, it was good, mm -hmm. all the stuff in the air, all the, the fighting scenes, the aerial, the dog fights and all that stuff is good, and it looks really good, and it's really well done, but then once you get on the ground, all the stuff, that hour and a half worth of stuff on the ground, kind of goes slow. It's not the best acted. It's not the best written. So. Okay. Okay. So kind of a mixed bag there. Yeah. You know, the cinematography looked great from what we had seen. It was good. And all the stuff in the cockpits and all the stuff in the air, all that stuff looks great. Is it pretty true to tradition, to, to the historical story? I, I know at the Kalamazoo Air Zoo, they have a whole section devoted to the, to the, to the Tuskegee uh, airmen and right. what they did and their important part right. in history. As, as far as I know, it's all based on true events. So. Um, there might be some Hollywoodization here. Yeah. But, uh, as always, as it can always. make it really interesting. Um, you have Cuba Gooding Jr. and Terrence Howard are really good, and then a bunch of pretty much unknown, or not unknowns, but up-and-coming actors. So uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's a good mix of a cast. Again, if it's something you want to go see, if, if you're interested by the trailer and the clips we've showed, go see it. Um, it's also, you know, a historical thing for the young and the old to right. see, but, you know, it's not, I wouldn't say go see it right away. Okay. Well, there's one movie that's getting a lot of buzz because it did very well yes. at the Golden Globes. Yes. And it's a very unique movie. Right. So, The Artist. Right, The Artist. Now, I couldn't play a Nat clip from this movie because it would just <laughs> be music because this is a silent movie. Um, you have music. Um, it's it's about the silent era. It's about the end of the silent era in Hollywood. And this is the artist is is an actor who is uh, who's kind of at the end of his career, trying to revive his career. And then there's a, a young up and coming actress, and she's interested in getting involved. So this is a movie. It's in limited release. It won three Golden Globes and is definitely going to be nominated for an Oscar. And it's only playing at Celebration Cinema North this weekend. So will it get wider yeah. release? Do you think because of the buzz it's Eventually getting Eventually it will, yeah. Okay. But right now it's just a limited release, and and we'll see. I mean, probably once the Oscars get announced on the January 24th, then we'll probably see a bigger release. This is something that could have done, you know, not so well, or yes. you know, on the flip side, because it's so different, you know. Right. But the Hollywood right. foreign press too, I would think like something like this. So yes. it'll be interesting yeah. to see what happens as it goes into the Oscars. Yeah, they definitely love it. It's definitely a movie for for movie fans, and it's definitely a movie mm -hmm. for the Academy to mm -hmm. nominate. So fantastic. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next one I know um, it deals with such a still a raw emotional topic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, extremely loud, incredibly close. Um, this was a movie that originally was thought to be an Oscar contender, and as it was screened, it eventually didn't get the best reviews. Uh -huh. It's not that it's a mm -hmm. bad movie; it's just not necessarily a great Oscar-nominated kind of movie. Uh, Tom Hanks is a, a devoted father who uh, is killed in the September 11th attacks, and his son is uh, played by Thomas Horn, and he uh, has to try to investigate this mystery that his father left him. His father was always taking him on puzzles and adventures and all these things. So he left behind something and the, and the son is seeking out the answers. So uh, and his mother, Sandra Bullock, you also get uh, Viola Davis plays a, 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 one of the people that he's uh, having to go wow. talk to. So. Star-studded cast. Yeah, it's a good cast and then that's why it got some early Oscar buzz, but then mm -hmm. once it was screened by more people, it didn't get the great great reviews. I would, I would go see it if you're interested, but um, we'll see. The young man getting a lot of uh, great yes. attention for his acting. Yes, he, he won a Critics' Choice Movie Award for Best Young Actor. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of good young performances this year, so that says something in and of itself. Okay. So the next movie you're talking about is called Haywire? Haywire, yes. Um, Gina Carano, who was a, an American gladiator and a mixed martial arts <sighs> champion, Tough girl. Um, plays a uh, an agent who gets double-crossed um, by the people. We, we've seen this before, but she does a lot of her own stunts. I've heard she does like almost all her own stunts in this movie. 
movie, kind of uh, Angelina Jolie or Tom Cruise-esque. And uh, it's actually getting pretty decent reviews. Uh, you've also got Ewan McGregor and Michael Fassbender. Um, so it's, it's an interesting movie to go check out, and it is uh, rated R. Okay. So All just right. know that. Underworld Awakening. Yes, also rated R. Um, this is the fourth movie in the Underworld franchise. This is the third time that we've seen Kate Beckinsale play Celine. She's a vampire warrior. This is not your <laughs> vampires of Twilight. This is your vampires of Underworld. Um, so it's, it is rated R. It is, uh, you know, very action and gore and horror. And uh, in this movie, the, uh, it's no longer just the vampires against the, uh, the lichens. It's now the humans have discovered their existence. So now they're going to war with the humans as well. Oh. So you've got three different factions. Mm -hmm. Okay, definitely interesting. Yes. <laughs> For uh, definitely that group. You want to see that because and, it is part of a and it'll previous be the number franchise. One this weekend. It will. It will. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. There you okay. go. Shame. Now this one is definitely one that you don't bring the kids to. Yes, and uh, actually they won't even be allowed because Shame is rated NC-17. We haven't had a lot of NC-17 movies in wide no, release we mm -hmm. um, ever. Um, and Michael Fassbender plays a guy who has an addiction um, of the sexual variety, and uh, he basically goes from place to place and meets all these women, and uh, his his employers kind of find out he has a problem. If you kind of you know think about other high-profile people where they've had to go into rehab, this is kind of mm -hmm. a story like that. Um, and then his sister is Carrie Mulligan. She shows up, and that kind of upsets his whole world because now his sister's living there, and he's got a figure out how to deal with his addiction and yeah. not tell his sister and his sister is trying to help him. So it's, it's kind of an interesting movie. He's getting some talk for Oscar nomination. He probably won't win, but uh, just know it's NC-17. It's only in Lansing this weekend. It's going to come to Grand Rapids next week. Okay. Right. Okay. I always like this because uh, your picks and you okay. have some suggestions for us. Yes. Um, I've got uh, in theaters, you can actually also see it in on DVD, yeah. but in theaters this week, uh, the help is at Woodland Mall, and obviously you've probably heard about it with the Golden Globes. Um, this is a great cast, great story. Um, I didn't get to see it in theaters originally, I did rent it, but you can go see it at Woodland Mall for four bucks. It's definitely worth the money. Um, it's uh, women who are raising, they're the help, they're the maids, they're raising the kids of the, the southern white aristocrat families, mm -hmm. and uh, they're they kind of revolt and, and start to put their foot down and say this is this isn't how things should be. So. All right, and like Dandelion Dust. Like Dandelion Dust, uh, 2010, this movie came out. It really should have gotten some awards attention. It didn't. Uh, Mira Sorvino and Barry Pepper play uh, part of a f uh, family that's uh, they've got a kid that they've uh, lost custody of, and the other family is more well-to-do family, and so you've got these two families fighting over this child. You've got the birth parents and the adopted parents. Oh. It's a very, very touching, moving story, and it won uh, Best Feature at Grand Rapids Film Festival in 2010, so okay. go check it out. It's a good movie. Yeah. All right, well, thank you. This is a way I feel ready for the weekend. That's right. Yes. Laugh at the movies, with yep. TV.com, your blog. Thank yeah. you very much. Thanks yeah. for being here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Thanks for thank joining you. us, folks. Be west. Bye.